Well, chances are that we have all experienced anxiety at some point in our lives. You may get anxiety maybe going to a party or meeting new people, maybe even going grocery shopping like I do, which I absolutely hate. But for uh, many, social anxiety can be very debilitating. So joining us now is Rob. He's a mental health counselor. And Chris, who has suffered from this, uh, this disorder. Guys, I just want to thank you first off for coming on today. Sure. Uh, and then also um, for talking about this. This is a very important topic. And uh, um, like I said, something that, you know, I've, I've dealt with anxiety as well. And so it's very important that we want to talk about this. So first off, um, you know, if Rob, we can talk about how common, I guess, uh, social anxiety is. Sure. Well, um, estimates are around 15 million people uh, struggle with this specific disorder of, of social anxiety. And uh, people who go on to get treatment often report that they've struggled with these symptoms for up to 10 years. So I know that probably people out there are thinking, you know, is it, is it just jitters or is it more than that? Like what exactly entails uh, with social anxiety? Sure. Well, yeah, a lot of people might say, well, I'm just a shy person or mm -hmm. I'm an introvert. Um, but there, there's a lot of physiological things that are going on that nobody sees um, that someone might struggle with privately. Uh, even sitting here and doing a live broadcast, right? You know, <laughs> right? you have a little yeah. bit of uh, things going on inside of you and nerves and you want to say the right thing. And uh, you, you don't, uh, you know, social people who struggle with social anxiety have this intense fear that they're going to be judged and uh, that can cripple them in relationships and make them decide, I I'm gonna stay home because it takes so much energy for me to put myself out there. Yeah, Chris, why don't you talk about your experience? Yeah, so I kind of found that uh, the first indicator was um, physical symptoms. Mm -hmm. So you start to feel very sweaty all the time. Uh, you feel very uh, ashamed, but you don't really understand what's going on. Mm -hmm. So uh, kind of what I talked to Rob about is when I had heard the term anxious or being anxious, it was more of uh, like, anxious to be uh, for an excited event, kind of like a birthday party or something. Yeah. Um, so for me, it was completely foreign to, uh, you know, the word anxiety, I had no idea what it was. Um, so uh, yeah, it's the first indicator for me and for a lot of people is the physical symptoms. So that's sure. what it was that kind of yeah. you know, hit you and realized that you needed to get some help. Yeah, yeah, just living with it. I lived with it for a long time and uh, it was, you know, incredibly embarrassing and difficult, but uh, once you start to learn more about it, you understand, um, you know, that there is help out there and that uh, we can leverage, uh, you know, how our brains work to overcome it. Yeah, absolutely. And nothing to be embarrassed about. Obviously, a lot of people that are dealing with this. Let's go ahead and uh, talk real quick about the event that you guys have coming up uh, tomorrow night. Sure. Uh, Creston Brewery, right in the Creston neighborhood, has a, a space above the brewery called the Golden Age. And uh, we've rented that space tomorrow night and the doors open at 630. People can grab a drink from the bar and they can order food. And uh, we're going to do much of the same that we're doing right now. We're going to talk to Chris. I'll be interviewing him and we'll be talking about social anxiety, more of Chris's story and the treatment program that we offer at the Truism Center for people who are struggling uh, with social anxiety. Wonderful. Great. Thank you so much for both of you, for Rob and Chris, for coming on today. Really important information here. And us. we also have this information up on our website, 13onyourside.com.